two points I want to make about narcissists, specifically the covert narcissist. This is what I had to deal with with my ex-wife, and it's what I've heard other um, victims of covert narcissistic abuse has gone through. The first thing is this. It's when the covert narcissist will treat you in a way that's so terrible, you can't get over it, and you it's just so out of your grasp of understanding how you could ever do that. How, how could they? That you can't put it into words. It's just so shocking. With my ex-wife, for years with her, it was just so shocking how she treated me, not just poorly, but viciously with vile, disgusting treatment that it took years for me being away from her. But like two years now I've been away. No, it has been, I'm sorry, a year and a half I, is when I escaped her. That I could finally put it into words. And I realized her normal treatment of me being a loving, caring, compassionate husband who was always there for her, um, handling everything for her, her mental stuff, her... Uh, physical stuff as far as like I, I handled well over a dozen extremely serious problems for her fixed just within her mind and her physical body. Everything financially fixed immediately. Great credit score, a bunch of finances, lawsuits that were just great for I mean her house clean everything like everything, maintenance perfect brand new car everything. Time out with her friends, hundreds of dollars, go out with your friends, have I mean everything. And I look at how she responded with that, and I realized the way that she treated me while I was treating her that way was the way or is the way I would treat someone if I found out that they had been sneaking behind my back to poison my animals to kill them slowly and then was laughing, watching them die, um, documenting it for their own kicks and give, giggles, you know what I mean? Um, someone who was abusive towards tiny children and babies and loved to cause them harm. The way she treated me for being nice to her, I look at that, that I look at that and realize that that is the criteria someone ha would have to meet for me to treat them that way, the way that she treated me while I was good, kind, nice, loving, nurturing, caring for her. And when I got to the point where I could put it in words how poorly she treated me and realized I could not understand that and what would it take for me to treat someone that way. And I realized what it would take for me to treat someone that way. And it's just like, wow, what a terrible fucking cunt. That woman is. I don't regret using the word at all. Terrible. Awful. Vile. Disgusting. Person. The worst. You don't get worse than that. The next thing. Is this. And hope, I, hopefully that makes sense to you. If you're a victim of, of narcissistic abuse. You understand. The next thing is this, the way they compliment you. Now, the way my ex-wife would, um, not, not the way they compliment you, the way they thank you, which is very similar to the way they compliment you. When they compliment you, there's two ways they compliment you. It's very similar to, to when they apologize to you. When they do something wrong and they see that they are the ones in the wrong and they owe you an apology, they attack you on why it wasn't their fault that they chose to do what they did and why you were right and they were wrong, which means that you were the bad guy in the situation. The hell? The fuck? That's what they replace their apologies with. And for me, working in, in uh, any industry, any workplace, dealing with a narcissist, every single time there's an issue, I was always right, they're always wrong. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to lay back. They, they see they're going to be wrong. They're going to see it is supposed to be done this way. And then I'm going to get attacked over it. And it would happen every single time. I don't know why. Don't care why. I just avoid them because of things like that. But when my ex-wife 
would thank me. And I was waiting for her to do this because she had just recently found out how much I hate this because I think it's a terrible thing for people to do. I told her about when I was in the workplace and I was constantly doing everyone else's job at an, air, at, at an airport. Everyone else would be sitting down, drinking sodas. They refused to do any work. I'd be running around, feeling the plays, uh, feel, feeling the planes, running the sweeper, cleaning the oil areas, just doing everything. And my bosses were friends with those guys. So they're like, well, learn to deal with it. Ha, ha, ha. It was really bad. And I mentioned to my ex-wife what was most condescending is how they would act like I wouldn't do that stuff by thanking me and saying, thanks for uh, cleaning the oil areas today, Justin, and, and uh, getting all those planes fueled up. It, it really helps me out like they ever do it at all. So when I told my ex-wife this, I knew I'm like she's going to do this to me. And I got home. She was very lazy. She refused to do chores. I got home. I did a quick sweep. I cleaned the litter boxes. And while I was cleaning the litter boxes, I was thinking, I bet she's going to do it right now. And sure enough, she walked in the room and said, you know what? Thanks thanks a lot for uh, sweeping and, and mopping and, and uh, cleaning litter boxes and helping around the ha house. It really helps me out a lot. And I looked at her, and I let her have it. I was like, I knew you were going to do that because like, you just found out. You just knew how much I hate when people go would say that in the workplace when I'm always the one doing it. And she's like, no, I did it sarcastically like that, because now when she's sarcastic, like I don't care. She'll tell other people. Well, he said this. And I said, no, I didn't. And then he responded, blah, blah, blah. And they changed their tone to change the whole way the conversation went. And I'm very direct with what I say as far as I know you're doing that to change your tone so you can tell people the sly and blah, blah, blah. And I would remove that from her because now that I said that in the argument and called her out, what's she going to do now when she tells someone about it? Completely threw it off. You see what I mean? But I realized that whenever they thank you, it's never a uh, thank you for doing this thing. It's always uh, I'm going to poke at you. And my thank you is going to be worded in this way specifically for this reason to cause this with you. And that's the issue with them. That's why they're always offended when people are nice to them because they're like, no one's ever nice and compliments someone. There's something, some insults here that they're trying to give me. There's something uh, a layer of insult there. You know what? I bet it's this and come up with something completely absurd and then try and sell other people on that. Did you see when they complimented me? What they really meant was this. And you're like, wow, that's completely unrelated. It's because their minds cannot function in a way as far as words mean what they say. And they also cannot comprehend someone who's not looking to be damaging and cause harm all the time. Because they can't relate to that. So it can't exist. It doesn't make sense to them. I sure am glad I escaped that crazy, crazy woman. Oh my gosh. But I bet if you're watching this video, I bet you know what I'm talking about. And I am so sorry that you've gone through that if you do. And if you're offended by this video, you're a really bad narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the enemy of people who like my videos, just so you know, just in case you're watching. And if you are one of those, leave a comment. I love to read the, the narcissist comments. I know it sounds like condescending. It's not. I love it because it's data. And I love to collect data.